a centrally planned economy. And why am I saying this? Because in the future, things are changing faster and faster and faster. And if socialism was already doomed in the past, when things were kind of slow, and when things were kind of slow, you could still kind of try to plan, but not in the future. In the future, things are moving so, so fast. Things are changing so, so fast that no one in a centrally planned economy can know more than the market. And I'll give you an example with technology on that. I have a little bag here with some things to show uh, so that you see how technology has changed. Um, uh, okay. Some of you are too young to, to have seen this, <laughs> but this exists. In fact, uh, uh, this is a real, these were the first floppy disks. Now you can see why they were called floppy. Uh, these were um, eight inches big, eight inches big. These are from 30 years ago. And this was incredible. When they came out, you know, this was the solution to all problems. Because now you could have in a relatively uh, small thing, electromagnetic that you could erase and record all the time, 1,024 bytes. <laughs> <laughs> this has 1K. This is 1K. Actually, I'll circulate it so that you see it. Here there is 1,024 bytes. People measured at the time in bytes. So this is 1K. 1K. Um, you have to touch it. This is a, a, a museum piece. It's really incredible <laughs> how te technology has changed. So if I remember these, that makes me a museum piece too. <laughs> <laughs> well, no comments. <laughs> Uh, okay, actually, but that was a, a big advancement because before that we used these. Uh, these are what is called the punch cards, I, IBM punch cards. And, and, and this actually was also very sophisticated. You have here 10 rows times 100 columns. 10 times 100 gives 1,000 bytes. So this is also 1K. This is 1K of memory 30 years ago. This was mechanical and that is electromagnetic. So that is more advanced because you can record and record all the time continuously. Then we had this, the, the other type, which I don't know where it left. Um, the, you know, that's another one. You mean this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that is for something else. But um, oh, I don't know where they left the other one. But you, you remember the, ah, here, here. Okay. This one you, you probably have seen, right? How much memory was this? This was 512K. Then 10 years later, this came out. H how much memory here? 1.4, uh, but what was the unit? Mega, mega bytes. And uh, today, if you go to Tokyo, in Tokyo you buy today uh, four giga for uh, $25. Four gigas. Four gigas is a computer. And they are really, really tiny, you know, you have seen all of those. So my point is that in 30 years we have gone from 1K to giga Ks, okay, uh, gigabytes of memory. So what do you think is going to happen in the future? More, less, the same, similar? <laughs> it, this is going to happen more and more and faster and faster. This is called Moore's Law. H has anyone heard of Moore's Law? Uh, Moore, Gordon Moore, was the co-founder of uh, Intel. And the co-founder of Intel, Gordon Moore, 40 years ago, he taught... He five computers, the market of five computers. Yeah, well, that, that was also Bill Gates. Bill Gates said 20 years ago uh, that, you know, 600 and, uh, 640K was enough for, for any, any person. <laughs> and today, Windows doesn't fit in several megabytes. <laughs> but anyway, the point is that uh, Gordon Moore, one of the founders of Intel, he said that every two years, the amount of power of the computers double, and the prices is reduced by half. And about 10 years ago, they discovered that Gordon Moore was wrong. It is not every two years, it is every year and a half. This is becoming faster and faster and faster. And so I'm just talking about this to give an idea of what is happening in terms of technological change in every single field. 
not only in computers. People think this is only in computers. I can give you examples in everything, including energy, solar energy, and what is going to happen in the next 20 years. In biology, uh, sequencing the human genome, the first genome that was sequenced between 1990 and 2000, it took 10 years, and it cost $3 billion. $3 billion and it took 10 years. Um, in 2005, you could do it in only one year, and it would only cost $100 million. Today, you can do it in a month, and it costs $10,000. In three years, you will do it in one week, and it will cost $1,000. And in five, six years, you will do it in one day, and it will cost $10. I don't know if you see the incredible changes that are coming from uh, the genome. They will take any part of your body, and they will tell you if you are going to suffer any diseases, or if you have to change somehow your genetic uh, material. Huh? From 10 years, the first genome, to one day. From $3 billion to $10. Okay? so. These incredible changes cannot be planned by any central planner, okay? This is uh, why the, the world is moving faster and faster and we have to be prepared for all these big technological changes and for that we need more and more laissez-faire, free markets, individual liberty, also because we will be able to change ourselves also in many ways. Huh? Uh, if you. If you don't have hair, that's good for you. <laughs> you know, in two or three years, in two or three years, there will be drugs to regrow your hair. Uh, this is coming, huh? This is coming fairly soon, huh? and many, many things. Uh, so, so anyway, we live in very interesting times, and some people actually say that the Chinese, the Chinese have this curse, may you live in interesting times. <laughs> but, uh, so, Anyway, I, I think those are some of the of the things I, I wanted to share, and I have more things. But since we have uh, yeah. questions yeah. and uh, for, uh, question any and comments, answer. I'll be more than happy and glad to exchange any any any. Um, yeah, about. Um